Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you've already gotten out of season now. Uh -huh. Because to everything there is a season and a time to every person. There's a time to weep. Hey, hey, hey. And then there's also a time to dance. You know he said, hey, Samuel, if you're going to be my prophet, then you got to move when I move. Hallelujah. And when I get up for morning, I don't care how bad you feel. You got to shift with me. Hey, no, he ain't saying nothing. If you're going to have prophetic temperament, you got to know how to shift when God shifts. Tell somebody near you. You can't get stuck in one place because God will do a suddenly on you and before you know it it's time for you to rise up and go into another zone and go into another lane open up your mouth and say I feel it turning yeah 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 I feel it shifting you ain't said it with enough power tell them oh, I feel something happening in the spirit. Try say yeah. Thank you. Come on back, Samuel. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Give it the scripture back. He said, How long you gonna mourn? Hallelujah. Seeing I have rejected him. For Saul, seeing I rejected him. For reigning over Israel. Fill thine heart with oil. And go. And I'm gonna show you the next one. I'm getting ready to close this. Matter of fact, I'm closing it right now. I would just like to give you a little bit of understanding from this verse. It's a messianic declaration because God said, Get up, Samuel, fill your horn. Thank you, sir. Lord, I bless your name. Fill your horn. Remember the first time that we deal with significant horns in the scripture. There's a ram caught in the thicket by his horn. God said, I'm getting ready to fulfill the horn prophecy. No, I ain't saying nothing. It gets better. Hey, Lord, I feel you. He said, fill your horn with oil. He said, and go. I will send thee to Jesse, the house of bread. He said, for I have provided me a king among his sons. You do remember Genesis 22 when Isaac asked Abraham, where is the lamb? And what did Abraham say? God will provide himself a lamb. It was a prophecy. Well, he did it again. He said, I have provided me a king among his sons. He said, in the fullness of time, I'm going to step in David, step down through Solomon until I become a king among the sons of Jesse. Say yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't saying it with enough power. Help me sound, man. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth and say yeah. But I want to close with this. Would you tell somebody near you if you ever hook up with God in the prophetic temperament, you will find out that when He called you to grief, He'll pay for your pain, He'll pay for every tear, He'll pay for every sleepless night, He'll pay for going against the for your shame, you shall have double. I wish I had a happy church. Shake somebody's hand and tell them I'm staying with God. I'm staying close with God. I gotta walk close because at any moment He may shift me. At any moment, hallelujah. Tell somebody I know that Saul let you down. I know that Saul broke your heart. I know that Saul broke your spirit. But listen, God said, get up. There's a David that's going to take Saul's place.
place. Yeah, there's still a word that's going to be fulfilled out of your mouth. If one won't get it, God will raise up another. If one won't receive it, God will raise up another. If one won't obey, God will raise up another. Church say yeah, yeah. Tell them it's all right to cry for Saul. You must not have heard what I say. Tell them it's all right to cry for Saul. But don't cry too long. Don't mourn too long. Don't hang your head too long. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night. But I Do a new work through your life. You're not. 